I grew up as a Buddhist. People in my village believe in Buddhism. All of them. No other religions in my village. But now there's the easy transportation. There are more different religions in my area. And the world has changed so much. People travel a lot. We explore to many different beliefs, different ideas. Many people keep asking me, do you teach your kids to be a Buddhist? I always say no. Because I think to believe in some religions is a personal thing. To choose to believe in any religions, it has to be a personal thing. It should not be a policy. It should not be something that we can train people to be. Because everybody are different. They have different thinking, different idea, different dream, different character. When we have many religions, it helps people to have choice in their life, to choose what kind of belief that fit themselves. Many people think they need to kiss they need to teach their kids to believe in the religion that their parents believe because they think it's the best. Actually, for me, I don't think like that. I think religious, every religion have the same aim. No any religions better than other religions. It depends on how we use it, how we understand it. Every religion has the same aim. They want people to find a way to solve their inside problem. That's the main aim of religions. When we believe in some religions. If we bring it, bring the teaching of each religion into practice, we will see that every religious teach the same thing. But because of different language, different culture, different places, that's why many religions look different. But the main aim, they go to the same direction. How can we help human to have less suffering in our life? How can we live peacefully, harmoniously, harmoniously with nature and with each other? That's the main aim of religious, as I understand. So. The kids can choose any religious as they want. They can choose any belief that can solve their problem. People think religions are different because we did not use the teaching to solve our problem. We did not use the teaching in our daily life. People love to study, love to read and listen, but don't like to bring the teaching into daily life. Because when we read and listen to the talk or read the scripture, it will become philosophy. Philosophy, everybody think different way. But when we bring the 
teaching into practice or to use it in real life, it will be our life. For example, if I have a fruit in my hand and I say that this fruit is very sweet, many people who listen to that will think about different kind of sweetness. They are not think the same. Some people maybe think sweet like sugar, sweet like a mango, sweet like a date, sweet like a honey. Because when we hear something, we always think differently. But whenever I cut that fruit and give to people around, when people taste it, everybody will test the same taste. It's sweet like this, but not like mango, not like honey, not like sugar. It's this kind of sweet. It's unique. We can explain it. But everybody understand the same thing. When we study religion, mainly people love to read scripture, love to listen to the talk, but don't like to bring into practice much. When we study religions as a philosophy, people think different way. That's why it turned to many sects. Every religion has so many sects, but not many people bring into practice. That's why people can see religions are different. But when we bring into practice, people will see it the same thing. To bring the teaching of each religion into practice is very important thing. That's the way we get the real benefit from religions. But now people love to study religions as a philosophy. And then it becomes different way of thinking. It caused a lot of conflict all over the world. And after that, people start to use religions in the way that they believe as a tool to make war, to make a lot of conflict for their own benefit. So they use religions as a tool to keep their power, to take advantage of other people. That's the cause of conflict all over. For me, I don't think that religions are different. I don't want to teach the kids to believe in something, but I want them to explore to use it first. I want the kids to explore different beliefs, different religions, try to use it, if it works for him or not. He can choose when he found that it helped it work. Religion is like a medicine. There are many kinds of sickness. There's not one medicine that can heal every sickness. The same as religions. There's not one religion that fit everybody. That's why we should not have the big policy that force everybody to believe in one religion. And then parents don't need to force their kids to believe in the way they believe. The kids have to be able to choose which one fit them the most. When people choose to believe voluntarily or they love it, they found that it's good, they will use that religious in that real life. They can help themselves. When people use it, they will understand it. When people understand it, 
people will understand the same thing. But when we force the kids to believe in some religions, they don't have a choice. So they don't bring into their life. They just study by reading scripture or listening to the teaching. So they will see different things. They can't see the same thing anymore. That caused a lot of conflict, a lot of problem all over the world because we force people to believe. People don't have choice to choose. So when we believe in one religious, but we do not understand in it, that caused a lot of problem all over. War and unrest situation happened all over from the history until now. It caused by religious quite a lot. If we let people learn every religious and let them choose what fit them the most, people will have better understanding in each religion. We will decrease a lot of suffering, decrease a lot of violence, decrease a lot of problem in the world. Whenever we believe that this religion is the best for everybody, that is the biggest mistake. Some religious, some religions can be the best for one, for some person, but not the best for everybody. I think we were forced to believe too much. That's why many people in this era refuse religions. Many people say that they don't have religions more and more and more now. Religions will not disappear from the world. It's still here. Whenever we use it, it's still there. When I see that every religion are the same when we use it, when we bring into practice, I don't worry about what kind of religions my kids going to choose. They, he can be anything. So I let him explore as much as he can. He can learn to be to experiment Buddhism, learn about Christian, learn about Islam. He can learn and he can choose. He can grow in his own way.